As you all know, waste management is one of the biggest challenges in today's world. Bins are filling up faster than ever, and many of them end up overflowing, causing not only dirty streets and bad odors, but also negative impact on our health and environment. Overflowing waste bin is an ideal ground breeding for bacteria, insects, and vermin. The flies that visit the garbage may be the same flies that roam around your lunch buffet and drop their offsprings on your plate. One of the outcomes of overflowing waste bin is environmental pollution. Air pollution, which causes various respiratory diseases and other adverse health effects. Trash that end up in water bodies negatively change the composition in water. And as you all know, this type of pollution is called water pollution. It affects all the ecosystems inside the water, including fish and other animals that drink the polluted water. Besides causing all sorts of health and environmental issues, Overflowing waste bin is a public nuisance and an ISO. Everyone wants to live, visit a place that are fresh, clean and healthy and of course beautiful. Will you visit a smelly city with poor sanitation and trash all over the place? No, right? Smelly city with poor sanitation and trash all over the place does not attract people or tourists and let alone investment. Cities will keep losing money. And do you know that touching and opening a lid of the bin causes some problems, such as cross-contamination. Diseases and viruses like COVID-19 can be transmitted when we touch and open the bin. And sometimes the lid of the bin is too dirty for the people to touch it. So they leave their trash top of the bin or beside the bin. But some people, even though the, bin is, the lid is dirty, they touch and open it. So the direct contact with the lid or the dirt can result in skin and blood infections and also spread diseases and viruses. And millions of fuel is being wasted for garbage truck routes. This will result in emission of carbon dioxide. That will cause various problems. And some of you might asking how the fuel is being wasted. Okay, for example, just think a trash collector goes every day to collect a bin, which is 500 meters away. And one day when he goes to collect, that bin is around 30% filled. So you might be thinking, instead of going every day, he, might, he can go once in a two days. But even when he go every day, sometimes the trash is around 80%, 20%, and sometimes even overflowing. The trash collector doesn't know the trash level until he go. And Every day, the filling rate of the trash bin differs. So now just I just spoke about one bin. There might be thousands of bins with these problems in a country. So just imagine how much fuel is being wasted and carbon dioxide is emitted to our society. Sometimes the trash collectors even skips to collect the bin by mistake only. And this will result in overflowing. Sometimes the bins catch fire due to chemical reactions inside the bin and many more problems. So as a solution using robotics and IoT technology, I built three different types of smart bins based on user requirements. Domestic use, city use and industrial use smart bins. These smart bins are loaded with advanced waste management system and smart features. And also, I have developed a mobile application to remotely monitor these bins. Through this application, we can monitor the trash level, the temperature, the location, and all the details of the bin remotely. And when it comes to the features, th this bin has the automated lid open and closing system. All the details of a bin remotely through the mobile application that I have developed. So this is the mobile application I have developed. And this application has three different user interfaces for the domestic use, industrial use, and city use. I have also integrated Google Maps, as city use bin and industrial use bin has the location tracking feature. And through this application, we can monitor the trash level, the temperature, the location, the bin ID, and all the details. And also, this bin has the fire alarming system. It has a buzzer so that it will alert the people when the trash is full or when the bin catch fire. Except monitoring to the, through the mobile phone, we can also monitor through the LED, set of LED lights which is in the industrial use bin and the domestic use bin or through the LCD display which is in the city use bin. And, it, and all these bin has 
the WhatsApp and email alerting system so that when the trash is full or when the bin is firing, it can alert the user or the owner. For example, if the bin is full, it can say, send a message automatically saying, the bin is full, please come and collect the trash as soon as possible. And the industrial use bin has the line following system with obstacle avoidance. How does it work? For example, just imagine that the industrial use bin has been implemented in, a, in an industry. So when the bin is full, it automatically goes to the waste collecting point of that industry. And once the trash is collected, it goes back to the place it was. And it also has the obstacle avoidance so that when it's moving, if, there are, if someone is walking in front or any, if there was any obstacle, it can avoid those. And Smart Bin contributes towards four United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Sustainable cities and communities, climate action, good health and well-being, and industry innovation and infrastructure. Smart bins prevent overflowing of bins, provide a cleaner environment, reduce garbage truck routes, which in return reduce the carbon dioxide emission, fuel consumption, noise, and pollution. Smart bin also prevents spreading of diseases and viruses, provide healthy lives, and reduce daily death rate. All my skills are self-developed that have been gained through developing robotics, automation, and IoT projects. You don't need to be 30s or 40s to develop or innovate something. In some cases, you might have a better idea, but you're, you leave it or you are stuck because you don't have the skill to develop it. But it's not like that. We are not born with loaded skills. We have to load it. So you can self-learn. Even at home, there are many tutorials and courses available in online for free. If you have the interest on what you're learning, it makes you much easier. And also, you don't feel lazy or tired when you learn with interest. There might be problems that you face, your society face, or the world is facing today. So let's find innovative solutions for the real-world problems. Thank you.